Welcome to 3D Amazon FBA. Today I'm going to show you guys five items that sold for good profits uh, in my Amazon store. Before I get into it, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. All right, so let's get into the video here. So the first thing I want to show you is um, Nature's Bakery Fig Bars. I've been getting these at Grocery Outlet. I sent in a bunch of these. I'm talking probably like 20 or 30. Um, I think I've sold more, but they haven't been shipped out, so it doesn't show up here on Inventory Lab. But I'm pretty sure I've almost sold out of all of them. Uh, but you can see here I was able to make four dollars four sixty seven on these. I'm not sure why the fees were different on you know Amazon fees were different, but you can see I was able to make I sold uh, five total and made about twenty five dollars on these through the week, which is a good deal. <clears throat> But looking at the item, 74 in grocery, it does share with these other brands like the Apple or whatever. But, uh, you know, this is really good. Um, you know, sales rank, obviously, it's selling hundreds a day at this sales rank right here. You look at the, the Keepa chart, I have it out for a year. Amazon does sell this, and they do sell out occasionally. But, uh, you know, it's sold as for as much as $22.99. And it got down to 17.21. The price has gotten back up to 18.14. But if you see Nature's Bakery at these uh, discount stores, make sure you check the expiration date. Sometimes they're too close to send in because you got to be about four months out. But uh, you know you can make some good money on Nature's Bakery fig bars. You know just check that expiration date. Next up, I've got a Halo Mega Constructs toy, Mercenary Combat unit um, always scan mega constructs when you see them in the stores i don't see them as much as i used to but the older discontinued sets will sell for a ton of money um, i've sold some sets that just had a couple minifigures and a couple little things it wasn't even a, like a set like this one for like 40 dollars before so make sure you always scan mega constructs um, you know products when you see them at the discount stores I've even sold them from like Dollar General and stuff like that if you see them. So this one here, the price has dropped down to $16.99. And, uh, you know, the reason why is we have this one idiot here. I was looking at this uh, a few minutes ago. You can see this one guy here dropped his price to $16.99. And all the other sellers are at $24.50, $26.25, $27.00. So this guy's just really eager to not make very much money and uh, lowered his price substantially, like $10 for some reason. And you can see everything was real nice and steady, $25, $24, $26, and then this guy came along and just dropped it. So, uh, you know, sometimes you have to deal with those sellers. Looking at the last screen, he only has one, so he'll probably sell out today or tomorrow. If I was doing retail, I mean online arbitrage, I would still buy this. This guy is going to sell out. He's going to move on to something new. But, uh, you know, you can see he doesn't have very good feedback. And he's pretty small at like 200 uh, ratings. So he, he's he's fairly new. But, uh, you know, actually it didn't look like he was that new. He has 25 total uh, feedback. But anyways... Uh, don't be like this guy. He's um, just not going to make very much money. You want to maximize your profits. And, um, you know, if you know you can sell it for this guy at $26.25 and it'll still sell, don't drop your price at $16.99. This guy is costing himself about $7 profit. So don't, don't be this guy. Sorry to go on a little rant like that, but it's how I feel. <laughs> And uh, next up, I've got some uh, pom pomade. This is for uh, for your hair. I was able to get this on clearance at Marshalls for five dollars was the clearance price, so five forty one including tax. I was able to almost triple my money on this, and uh, you know they sold pretty quick, which was uh, very nice. Obviously, <clears throat> so anyways, this is real basic. It's four ounces, so with packaging, it's about five ounce. You could fit a bunch of these in the boxes and it wouldn't really matter for weight wait for that it's 110 sales rank and beauty which is uh, you know really good it'll sell pretty quick and JCPenney's has it for $19.80 so that will not make you any money 
But you can see the price has been steady right at $22. When I sent mine in, I didn't adjust the price or anything like that. I just had it set for $22. And, uh, you know, it sold, you know, pretty much immediately once it hit the warehouse. But always, always scan the beauty section, the clearance beauty, when you go to um, any of these discount stores, especially Mar Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I find really good deals there. So next up, we've got um, Hexbug. Um, I love selling Hexbug products. They're usually really lightweight. They sell pretty quick. Um, you do have to be careful. The vendor or the, the manufacturer, Hexbug, the brand, they do get on their listings from time to time. And Amazon also will get on their listings from time to time. This one, I did not have a problem. Um, what I have noticed since I've seen Hexbug on there, on the listings that they're on, they are all alone on the product with like nobody else selling it. And on the ones they're not on, you, I do see quite a bit of people on that. Because Target sells quite a bit of Hexbug products. And the stuff I see at Target, they are usually on the brand themselves. So do watch out for that. I don't know if they do IP complaints or anything like that. But I assume they do because, uh, or at least cease and desist or something, because they're all alone on their listings. So anyways, this one, the price has actually gone up. The price has kind of been all over the place. But this sold for 22 and then it jumped up to 30 And now it's up to $30.50 $30. it's showing here. So this guy's got the buy box at 32 so I'm guessing the person that was at $30 might have sold out today or yesterday. Keep hasn't really caught up. But it has 608 ratings, selling for $33. I got mine for $8.65, including tax. So I'd be making $13.12 if I was to sell it today compared to what did I sell mine at. I made um, 11 and $10, respectively, on uh, mine. So the, this is a, a pretty example of the beauty of um, repricers. Is so we know the price went from $22 to what it's currently at. So even at $22, I still would have bought it, still would have made almost $4 on it. And uh, this is why I've had a repricer for four and a half um, years, is because say I sent mine in for 30 if this guy dropped the price to 22 I could still sell mine without doing any extra work and um, be out of it and you know use that money to buy more inventory or if the price went up to the $33 be cool would adjust my price to that $33 and I would make 13 so it does work both ways so I recommend using a repricer if you guys aren't already um, I'll leave a link down in the description for uh, be cool because I strongly recommend using Be Cool. Um, I've had nothing but good luck with them. So the last thing I've got to show you guys is some um, Paw Patrol goggles. I got these at DD's Dee discount. You can see I made almost $13 on a $4 purchase price. So I quadrupled my money three times this month. And the reason why I showed you all three, you see I sold seven, eight, and the second, is because they this was a, a slow selling item. I think the sales rank was around 200,000 in sports when I sent it in. And, uh, you know, I, I sold out, you know, within the month, which is pretty good here. And the reason why I bought them with such a slow, small uh, sales rank or a bad sales rank is at that time I was all alone on the listing. So I wasn't worried about competition. I knew it would sell because I had 119 rating ratings. So I knew it would sell. It was just a matter of time. You know, and, uh, you know, I sold mine within the month, quadrupled my money on all three. But I bought them because I was alone. If there was like three or four sellers on it, I probably wouldn't have bought it because, you know, I don't want to have inventory sit there for six, eight months. But the price hasn't changed at all. And I'm thinking here because it was sold out, as you can see, when I sent mine in, I probably sent mine in for $19.99. And I set my repricer for $25. So it went up for and I sold mine for $25. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. But, you know, even though it had a bad sales rank, this was a really good uh, purchase for me. So, uh, you know, use your own discretion, but you can sell stuff and you can make money on things with really bad sales ranks. So that's what we got for you guys today. 
Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching.